Hi, this is Mark Neese with Sync Lab Media. Welcome to today's episode of the VX Factor Live. We'll be right back. And welcome back to the VX Factor Live. Very happy to have Jason Bowers with us today from the VentureX Campbell Center. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Mark. Appreciate a it. Absolutely. So, for the benefit of our viewers, uh, why don't you just give us a little bit about like your background? I know that you're a you're a local guy, uh, so tell us a little bit about yourself to start with. Yeah, uh, born and raised in uh, Arlington, Texas. Uh, spent uh, my college days in Colorado. Uh, served in the Air Force for nine years. Awesome. On the West Coast, and uh, my wife and I decided to move back to Dallas uh, back in the in the late '90s to get back to home and family and. Um, We've been in the Dallas area uh, since uh, 98 and uh, have uh, really enjoyed you know, coming back home. Awesome. Well, um, what uh, I know that you're, you're venturing into kind of a new arena, uh, you know, opening a VentureX location. What have you done previously, kind of, in, you know, most recently in your, in your business career to kind of prepare you for, for this new adventure? Well, I'm not sure anything really... Could have prepared me for this, this venture, but um, you know my my professional career has been primarily in telecom. Okay. So I've been in sales uh, for the past fifteen years, and I think what really kind of drove me uh, to explore not just VentureX in particular, but just being an entrepreneur and, and opening up a franchise was wanting to do something. My wife and I both wanting to do something both with our with our uh, in, in investment portfolio as well as our time to kind of sink something into something that we could really, as opposed to just putting into the stock market, something that we could, you know, put some sweat and some, some sweat equity into that. And uh, about a year and a half ago, I went to a, um, a franchise convention in downtown Dallas and started to explore opportunities. And um, what was interesting is that that coupled with what was going on in my work life, which was being displaced from an office working from home and really wanting to find a good place to office that I could get some of that social interaction. It all kind of fell into place when I saw the VentureX booth mm -hmm. and started to look into that. So that, that set me down a path of about a year of finding the right location and, uh, you know, getting things opened up. So, so what I'm interested in knowing, and maybe some viewers are, are interested in knowing too, the kind of your decision process from just opening a business and, and starting from scratch maybe as opposed to going the franchise route. So what was some of your thought processes there? Well, I think one of the, the, the main things in particular with, with this business in as it pertains to needing to secure office space, um, what I found out really quickly is that in order to secure enough office space to make it a viable business case, you know, you, you have to convince the landlord that, you know, you're you're viable for this. And I think, you know, in addition to what we put into it, having the backing of VentureX and the parent company, UFG, really gave us, gave us instant credibility because as, as VentureX, you know, at the time was, was starting to really grow and knowing that UFG is a, is a very large franchise corporation, mm -hmm. um, it gave us instant credibility going in there and saying, yeah, we're... While I'm new to the business, you know, we're not new to the franchise business as a team. So that that really helped to, to secure that. And then, obviously, this, the support that, that a franchise company provides, you know, in terms of just all the, the small things that you may not consider uh, early on, you know, that's helped greatly. And then the, the VentureX community, you know, um, the place that we're in right now with, with Nadim and, you know, the six or seven other VentureX locations here in Dallas, we're a pretty tight knit community. You know, we we talk on a on a regular basis. So having that that shared experience to work with other folks that have already kind of been several months ahead of where I'm at really really helped. So that's that's great. Yeah. So we came and visited you last week and kind of toured your your location at Campbell Center. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the interesting things, I think, particularly maybe viewers that are new to the Dallas area, there's there's some unique history in that particular building and particularly the two floors that, that you're on, 19th and 20th floor up right. there on that tower. Um, 
It was the the Dallas show TV show, by the way. Right. Uh, but uh, so that so that's kind of unique. Um, you know, my partner Scott, my business partner Scott, and I have been around for a while, so we actually remember that. You know? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I do too. It's right. it's one of the opening scenes. You know, that's the flyby of the, of the gold towers, and yeah. you know, I, I'd say that. You know, as far as I iconic buildings in Dallas, there are a few of them, and I would I would put Campbell Center in there as well. Yeah. Because the, for for many years, you know, those those buildings kind of st stood apart, and uh, you know, we, we couldn't be more pleased with uh, both being a part of, of, a, of an iconic you know, building, um, but also being in a, in a location that I think is really conducive to the, the current layout of Dallas. I mean, a lot of people find it sometimes challenging to go all the way to downtown um, and are trying to look for that happy medium between mm -hmm. being being in the center of Dallas and then also in the, the northern parts mm -hmm. of, the, of the DFW yeah. area. So. So one of the things that was, I think, impressive about the space that you have there and what you're doing with it is it's just, it's a completely kind of unique uh, space there. I mean, really high ceilings, you know, the walk-in and everything. Uh, plus, you've got that great event space that you're putting together. So what are, I mean, but what are, have there been some unique challenges or things? Or, I mean, what do you see as some of the unique uh um, even opportunities of, of that particular space that you're in there. Yeah, so when, when we first toured that, um, you know, it, so the, the, the two floors that we're on were, were a previous executive headquarters location, and uh, what was unique about it was there was a, was a private stairwell and a, and a private elevator, which make it really conducive to a collaborative workspace from the standpoint of, you know, you've got your reception area, and then everything kind of funnels upstairs. So. Mm -hmm. As far as the upstairs goes, you know, with the private offices, it makes it that much more private from the standpoint of, you know, you don't have multiple locations coming in and out of the, mm -hmm. of the space. And it gives it a unique flavor in that, you know, we've got effectively a, a three-story view because mm -hmm. the top floor is an 18-foot ceiling versus the standard 10-foot ceiling that mm -hmm. we have on the 19th floor. So we have great views. Um, we have, um, like you said, we have the, the event space, um, which is a 1,200-square-foot um, location that we'll, we'll be able to do, you know, uh, meetings, training, you know, any sort of, uh, even, uh, you know, if we were going to do major presentations or uh, webcasts, we can do it from that. Mm -hmm. And what we're seeing is that there's a big draw for destination locations to do that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, an, it's a new addition that we've kind of brought up in terms of the Venture X locations maybe starting to look more for event spaces. Because mm -hmm. when you think about it, Mark, you know, having a a, an event space that draws additional people coming into the space that may not have otherwise. It's it's a marketing opportunity for yourself, yeah. uh, you know, as well as an opportunity for the members. Sure. So, so we're going to continue this conversation on the on the flip side of a short break here, but I want to get more into uh, the unique opportunity that VentureX has provided you from, but also just the benefits for uh, entrepreneurs and business owners to kind of be in the uh, shared workspace environment. So we'll continue that conversation uh, after a short break. First, we want to make sure we recognize our artist of the week. One of the things we do each week on the show is recognize a local artist. So you see the painting behind me. Uh, that's by C.J. Cowden. Uh, and the name of the painting is Stratosphere. Um, and so we're very lucky to have David Call. David Call Designs. He's curated art in this entire Venturex location here. Um, but also for our studio. Uh, so we want to make sure that we recognize him and C.J. Cowden. And you're going to hear more about a special event we have coming up this week when we go to commercial break, and we'll see you when we get back on the VX Factor Live. Hey there, this is Mark Neese with Sync Lab Media. You know, we've been really fortunate to collaborate with David Call from David Call Designs, and he has curated some really great artwork from three local artists here at VentureX Dallas by the Galleria. And in celebration of that, we are hosting, along with VentureX Dallas by the Galleria and David Call Designs, a great event coming up this next Thursday, July 18th, Trifecta, Art to the Third Power. So we hope to see you here at VentureX Dallas by the Galleria this next Thursday from 5 to 8 p.m. where you can meet all three of the local artists, 
socialize, network, eat, and drink. The link to the free ticket on Eventbrite is right below in the comments on this post. So we look forward to seeing you then. Stop by, tour the Venturex Dallas by the Galleria location, view some great local art, meet some local artists, and have a great time. We'll see you then. And welcome back to the VX Factor Live. Uh, again, we're here with Jason Bowers today from uh, VentureX uh, Campbell Center. Um, and we were just talking a little bit about your uh, new location that you're opening. Like, when is your target kind of open date? Uh, I know that you're already taking reservations for spaces, but when is going to be kind of your target open date and then uh, target grand opening? Yeah, so our, our target soft opening is the 1st of August. Okay. And then we're looking to do our grand opening the second week of September. Okay. Kind of want to finish off the, the rest of summer, everybody get back and settled, and then we'll, sure. uh, we'll have a wonderful grand opening. So um, you started to talk about it a little bit earlier about kind of, you know, why you chose VentureX as, as a franchise. Um, and I know that we're, they're expanding particularly in this market, but also a lot of other markets. And the whole shared workspace kind of industry is really exploding here in Dallas. So what do you see from uh, the aspect of VentureX in particular as some of their unique advantages in, in a kind of what's becoming kind of a crowded market? Yeah, yeah it, it really is. I mean, the, you know, the exciting thing about this, this business is it really has taken off. I mean, it's, you know, the collaborative workspace is, is not a new new concept it's been around for for a few decades but it really has started to to really mold the whole commercial real estate business you know the, even when we talk to brokers uh, it's it's still a relatively new concept to them but you know as 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 many would attest you know that it, it provides so many opportunities for um, businesses and individuals who need the flexibility uh, without having the upfront burden of a, of, a, of a significant lease. And it provides, you know, a, a great opportunity for a huge um, wide spectrum of different places to go and support your business. I mean, you know, we, there's, a, there's a large number of, of companies competing for the collaborative workspace, but all that does is provide that many more choices for people that are looking, looking for this sort of uh, place to call, call home for their business. Mm -hmm. So as, as VentureX, you know, falls kind of within the, within that spectrum. I think we, we kind of fall in that in that middle ground in terms of you have all the the, the key elements of the, the collaborative workspace. You know, all the shared components. You know, the, the, the kitchen, the coffee, the the shared conferences rooms, uh, and and the the benefits that go along with having 
you know, companies together in a work environment, you know, because they feed off each other. There's, there's a lot more socialization in that respect. Um, and then you have the benefit, too, of, you know, when it's time to get back to your office and you need the quiet solitude, you know, we ensure that, that our members have that as well. So I think VentureX has, uh, in particular, set up a, a great happy medium in terms of when you need your quiet time to do your work, you've got it. When you, when you need to have your social time, you can do that, too. Mm -hmm. And I think it's one of the unique things about how you're setting up your space, particularly with the like the dedicated meeting area for larger meetings. I mean, you know, one of the things that we've seen we've been we've been kind of immersed in the, the shared collaborative workspace uh, for going on six years now. You know, and trying to help different people. You know, kind of market that that concept and their unique qualities and, and differentiators with, within that market and. A lot of times you go to some of these places and it's like, you know, you've got the, everybody standing around the keg at, you know, two o'clock in the afternoon, <laughs> afternoon in shorts and t-shirts, right. you know, it's sure. kind of the, you know, kind of a frat house, you know, kind of environment almost. And it's one of the things that we've appreciated about being here at mm -hmm. uh, the Dallas by the Galleria location is, yeah, I mean, people like to have fun and they like to socialize, but then, you know, there, there's a little bit more of kind of a professional you know, vibe, right. you know, and that's yeah. something that we've really appreciated. But I think particularly with that meeting space that you're going to have there, it kind of isolates a lot of those activities. So there's not a lot of noise spilling over and, you know, and disruption to, you know, the people that are, you know, that are there to get after it and get something done. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And we, we took that into account when, when we did the, the, the layout in such a way that we have our, our standard kind of kitchen shared open space on the 19th floor with the event space above it, and it's kind of sequestered over in the corner away from the major, you know, the, 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 the other conference rooms and, and the offices in such a way that in that setup, you, you can have those events separately, and it's non-disruptive, and then even, you know, and because we, we intend to have a significant number of events, you know, both d during work hours and after hours, so mm -hmm. it, it, it gives us that added flexibility that if, if we are having events during standard business hours, you know, there's not going to be any disruption to the folks that are trying to get work done during the day. Mm -hmm. So what are, um, if you could share maybe a couple of other just maybe unique uh, uh, differentiators for you in that in that particular space. I mean, it looks like it's it's shaping up to kind of be almost like a, a um, uh, can't come up with the word now, actually like a showcase kind of space for, you know, for VentureX. Uh, yeah, it's, um, you know, I, th I think what we've, we've done is we, and, and we did this early on in the process, we, we approached VentureX um, and UFG with the notion of we, we really wanted to take a, a unique property and make it something unique while still retaining the, the VentureX brand mm -hmm. in such a way that, you know, kind of plant the seeds for the stratification of the brand mm -hmm. because, you know, VentureX is, is, is expanding, not, not only in the U.S., but but in other countries, and in the next couple of years, there's going to be VentureXs all over the world. And for each location, for each city, for each country, there's obviously those unique traits that mm -hmm. I think could carry in. And so what we wanted to do was to establish that at Campbell Center, and uh, we were given the flexibility to do that. And you know, we're going to have the certainly the VentureX brand will be prominent, but there will be some unique aspects of it that mm -hmm. have never been seen in the VentureX before. And hopefully a lot of these, these pieces will, will start to kind of make their way as VentureX expands going forward. Yeah. So growth, growth is good. I mean, yeah. the hotel industry does it as well. You know, you have sure. the same engine underneath, but you have a different look and feel for the different locations. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to seeing the, uh, the final uh, version of it. I mean, we were, it's, you know, I could already tell when we were there the other day, you know, the way things were kind of, you know, shaping up and everything. And I know you've got... A lot more work to do, and uh, so we appreciate you taking the time out, you know, to come by and talk to us today because we know it's a it's a frantic process sometimes. Well, I, but yeah, we appreciate it, Mark. It's, yeah. it's I appreciate the airtime, and yeah. uh, you know we are looking forward to getting open and you know growing the business. Okay, so uh, if people want to get a hold of you to for a tour to come by to check out the space or to inquire about what spaces that you have available, how how can they do that? Yeah, you can just go on uh, uh, VentureX.com and look up uh, Vent, uh, Dallas Campbell Center, and uh, there's a, uh, a link to book a tour, and okay. that'll go right directly to myself or our community manager, and we'll give you a call back immediately and get you set up. Okay, 
And we do want to reference the event that's coming up uh, later on this uh, week, uh, actually two days from now. Um, so let's hear a message about our special art reception event coming up, Trifecta. Hey there, this is Mark Neese with Sync Lab Media. You know, we've been really fortunate to collaborate with David Call from David Call Designs, and he has curated some really great artwork from three local artists here at VentureX Dallas by the Galleria. And in celebration of that, we are hosting, along with VentureX Dallas by the Galleria and David Call Designs, a great event coming up this next Thursday, July 18th, Trifecta, Art to the Third Power. So we hope to see you here at VentureX Dallas by the Galleria this next Thursday from 5 to 8 p.m. where you can meet all three of the local artists, socialize, network, eat, and drink. The link to the free ticket on Eventbrite is right below in the comments on this post. So we look forward to seeing you then. Stop by, tour the VentureX Dallas by the Galleria location, view some great local art, meet some local artists, and have a great time. We'll see you then. And just one more thing before we wrap up today. If you've enjoyed watching this uh, video podcast show, uh, Sync Lab Media, we do have options for you to have your own show. Or if you know somebody that's a subject matter expert that wants to build trust and authority in their brand, have them give us a call. We have uh, video podcast subscriptions available. Uh, we're happy to talk to you. Just get in touch with us either directly via LinkedIn, our website, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever social media you're on, uh, we're there also. So just get in touch with us. We're happy to talk to you about that. Until next time, again, thank you, Jason, for joining us today. And we'll see you next time on the VX Factor Live.